Thank you, Hojun, for that. And now that we've covered everything from A to Z on the election system, let's catch up with the latest developments as voting gets underway over in the U.S. For that, we have our Yun Shin on the line. Yun Shin, what can you tell us about the results so far? Uh, we know that some parts of the country have already voted and tallied the results. That is right, Kanyang. So according to New Hampshire law, towns with less than 100 residents are allowed to open their polling stations at midnight and close them as soon as all registered voters have cast their ballots. The first town in the state and the country to vote is Dixville Notch. It's a town of just 12 people, and they voted as the clock struck midnight on Election Day. It took just a few minutes to finalize the results. Hillary Clinton beat Donald Trump 4-2. to two. Polling stations are now open across the continental United States, and all will be closed by 9 p.m. local time. In any case, in Korea time, voting will end by about midday Wednesday, and it's normally clear by that point who won. Right. Uh, now, with the gap between uh, the Republican and Democratic presidential hopefuls having narrowed over the past few days, victory is likely going to be all about turnouts. Um, what can you tell us about the general atmosphere among the voting public today so far? Yes, I'm glad you brought that up. In the last general election, the turnout rate actually fell to less than 60 percent among eligible voters, compared to the election in 2008, where the turnout rate was around 63 percent. But this year may be different. Up to Tuesday, more than 46 million Americans have cast their ballots through early voting, according to numbers from the Associated Press, which is beyond what we saw back in 2012. Also, if you go on any social media website right now, Facebook or Twitter, you'll see the trending hashtags are all about the presidential election, like Rock the Vote, Election 2016, or some motivational ones like the hashtag I Voted Because. And American celebrities are also jumping in by posting selfies of themselves voting or posting on Instagram pictures or quotes of their favorite candidates to encourage people to exercise their right to vote on Election Day. As you mentioned earlier, even though previous polls have shown Hillary Clinton with a slight edge over Donald Trump, given the way this campaign has gone so far, the outcome is pretty difficult to predict. So we'll just have to keep watching as the results roll in. Back to you, Kanya. All right, thank you, Eun Shin, our Eun Shin on the U.S. elections.